It's a weather authority alert, and unlike most storms, meteorologist Molly Matat has done a bit of hair pulling Ugh. over the forecast for this one. She's going to walk us through why uh, why it's just been so tough to pin down. This is uh, not necessarily a rare storm, but just the setup. What we're tracking that's going to impact us come Thursday night into Friday hasn't even really technically formed yet. Which is kind of odd. Yeah, so we kind of are predicting the future based on a prediction, based on a prediction, which you can see is a little complicated. But things are starting to come together as we get closer. First off, there's a winter storm watch for just about everybody in central New York, and this is for accumulating snow, wintry conditions. If anything, this is going to be a shock to the system after the mild days that we've had. Let's be honest, we've probably all kind of forgotten how to drive in the snow after a few days in the 40s, 50s, and 60s, right? You're going to need to relearn those skills very quickly come the Friday morning commute because that's what we'll be tracking. Now, let's get you through the immediate future. If you're headed out this evening, yes, we do have some rain on Triple Doppler. Brought to you by Falso Service Experts. It's mostly spotty showers, sprinkles, a few heavier pockets like in southern Cayuga and heading into Madison County right now. Those eventually do taper, and we will be dry for the start of the day tomorrow. Mild, too. Remember, a normal high for this time of year is 36, 37, and we start off the day in the 30s. It's mild again tomorrow, not 60s, not 50s, but in the 40s in the afternoon. Notice the changes as we head into the second part of the day. As the kids head home, there may be a few stray showers, and then we have to start to talk about the changes that come in. This is your storm timeline, what to expect and when. Let's start with Thursday night. That's when the rain starts. It moves in, everyone gets a pretty good soaking. Then the critical part of this and what could really impact this forecast is the changeover from rain to snow. That happens at higher elevations first. And let me show you how this happens. Snow takes over in the hills and then eventually changes for everyone into early Friday morning. And that's going to cause for some slick conditions. Friday morning and midday, everyone goes to snow, and it will be heavy at times, as well as windy. Then by Friday evening, things finally start to taper off. We will be watching some tricky lake enhancement. Let's talk about those snowfall total numbers. Anywhere across central New York with the storm moves through, it looks like a general three to seven inches north of Syracuse. However, right in this area, through a corridor and south, our range right now is from seven to 12 inches. And remember that this storm is still almost two full days away. So this is subject to change, but that's pretty major snowfall, especially after a few mild days, and it will be heavy at times. The best chance at seeing those higher numbers, anything greater than a foot, it's all about elevation with the storm. The hills that are up just a little bit more see snow change over first, and they see snow the longest. So those two impacts together, right here in the southern tier and all of those places that are higher elevation, southern Onondaga into northern Cortland, extending into Madison and Chenango counties, you may see a little bit more stack up from this, and I think this is a good, let's call it uh, 12 to 24 hours of snowfall that's going to be cranking in central New York. The snow does taper off Friday night, and look at how close those temperatures are to freezing. If we go one way or the other, that could really impact the forecast. So make sure you stay tuned to CBS 5. Keep checking for those minor details. Sunday, the snow tapers off. We're a little bit more mild. Two pretty quiet days for Sunday and Monday, and temperatures are back on the rise. Look for showers late on Tuesday and a chance for some mix on Wednesday. Michael?